Good afternoon. It is a pleasure to be with you today. 안녕하십니까. 우리 여러분 함께 있어서 너무 감사드립니다. Please excuse the casual wear in the United States. We present, teach, and preach like this. 네, 저희 오늘 이런 캐주얼 복장을 좀 이해해 바랍니다. 미국에서는 이렇게 하고 저희가 설교도 하고 가르치기도 합니다. But it is a privilege to be among brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ here. 한국의 이 어, 형제 자매님들 앞에서 이렇게 설수 있다는 것이 굉장히 큰 특권이라고 생각합니다. I serve at the ministry called Portland Fellowship in Portland, Oregon. 저는 지금 미국 오레곤주의 포트랜드라는 도시에 있는 어, 포트랜드 펠로십에서 섬기고 있습니다. And the purpose of the ministry is to help men and women overcome unwanted same-sex attractions and desires. 저희 사역의 목적은 원치 않는 같은 동성 간의 성적인 매력을 느끼는 성적 자매들을 도와주는 일입니다. And that is the story of my life. God redeemed me from homosexuality. When I was young, I felt very different than my friends, and I knew there was something wrong inside. And I prayed and prayed that God would make me different. 그리고 저는 하지만 저는 정말 하나님께 참 간절히 저를 다시 바꿔달라고 기도했습니다. But my prayers at the time didn't make those feelings and desires go away. 하지만 제가 그렇게 기도했음에도 불구하고 그 당시에 저의 어떤 감정이나 그런 느낌은 사라지지 않았습니다. And so I searched the scriptures to know what is it that God says about homosexuality. 그래서 저는 그때부터 성경을 보기 시작했습니다. 하나님께서 동성애에 대해서 뭐라고 말씀하십니까? And as, as I read in Levitic, Genesis and Leviticus and Romans and 1 Corinthians, I realized God's plan for my life was something much different. So I cried out to him, what do I do? How do I find freedom? Years later went by until someone within the church, another Christian friend, 그래서 몇년 후에 다른 교회에서 어떤 크리스천 저 친구가 제 찾아왔습니다. Began to share with me truth and life and hope about freedom from homosexuality. 그 친구가 제게 동성애로부터 자유와 어 승리에 대해서 그리고 소망에 대해서 말해주기 시작했습니다. When I was growing up in the church, I felt condemnation and shame. 왜냐하면 제가 어렸을 때 자랐을 때 저는 교회에서 수치와 그리고 어떤 정죄를 느꼈기 때문입니다. And and what I needed was hope. And freedom found in Jesus Christ. It was a difficult process to walk through this overcoming and renewing the mind. But, but I want to share with you today that it is absolutely possible to find that freedom. It required hard work. Obedience. Surrender. Forgiveness. Many things that we all have to struggle with. I came to realize that homosexuality is one of many sins we struggle against. So we can't judge a homosexual while we're still choosing sin. And so when I came to realize I can find freedom in him, I pursued it. God began to do a work in my life, and what happened was I walked out of this desire for the same gender sexually. And I began to grow in my masculinity and my confidence in Christ. When that began to happen, I no longer needed or wanted homosexuality. It's not true for everybody who overcomes homosexuality, but for me, I began to have desires for my wife. When my peers were overcoming or uh, finding attraction toward women at the age of 
13 or 14. It, it took me working through a lot of issues, and then at age 25, I look at this girl in this room and find her attractive. So then I dated her, and one year from our first date, I asked her to be my wife. And through that, God allowed her and I to bring children into the world. And so I get to raise uh, two boys who are now 12 and 7 years old. They are truly the joy of my life. In homosexuality, there is no procreation uh, uh, to birth, have children, no children. And a deep desire of my heart was to be married to a woman and have children of my own. And so God granted those desires of my heart. So then he allowed me to serve in this ministry to help other people. And I know that you have a work to do uh, to protect uh, what you're what you're striving for here. But it's so important to remember the redemptive work of Jesus Christ in this work. We've had we've seen hundreds, if now thousands, of people come through Portland Fellowship seeking wholeness and freedom. But we also serve family members who have loved ones who are openly gay and lesbian. It's very, very challenging to hold to biblical truth and at the same time, love those who are lost in sin.